everybody good morning this is Jean here Jean true love from true love quotes for you I'm doing a sharing is caring video this morning just a few minutes of uh, sharing some photographs of uh, projects that people attempted or did make uh, following tutorials of mine one is fairly loosely because they sort of said they messed up but I'm telling you right now Lori it's not a mess up but I'll get to Lori soon um, the first one I have here is Cheryl Biebenek you know who you are um, Cheryl says she's been quilting for more than 50 years <laughs> you could show me a thing or two Cheryl <laughs> I have my sewing room that has my sewing machine and a new embroidery machine and now I have room for just for, for just my almost one year old Cunique 21 X Elite long arm quilting machine. I also have all my fabric and sewing supplies between two rooms. I followed you on YouTube for nearly four years now. Oh my goodness, Cheryl, thank you so much. I'm putting the pictures up of your lovely room. You're obviously an experienced quilter. Some people had asked me when I first started quilting, I was all all about like getting a long arm quilting machine now this is almost 20 years ago and i actually purchased when we were in the basement of my original home which you don't see any pictures of because i i didn't really take photographs or digital work was cameras around then um and i was raising a million kids but i actually purchased one of the first handy quilter long arm systems that they had come out with the dinosaur of um, long arm domestic machines as it were for home quilting long story short it was not for me handy quilter has come so far with technology wonderful 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 i go to quilt shows now and oh my goodness the handy quilters are incredible i literally probably had the first one off of the assembly line it wasn't wonderful i found it cumbersome and horrible and at the end of the day i i felt for myself that long arm machine quilting was not for me i would rather do it on my domestic machine as you know i have quilted king size quilts having said that i have sent out to a long arm quilter my my, my guy in um, missouri david quilting by david um half a dozen quilt tops um that i have that i've been thrilled with just an all over quilting pattern because as i'm getting older um, and I have other obligations here in my sewing room and things have taken a turn. Um, I find that to totally wonderfully acceptable when I can afford it because it is an expense. But I tell you, Cheryl, you have your setup here. There's just a few photographs. We wish you would have sent some more, but well done, Cheryl. Thank you so much for um, sharing that with us. The next one, this is lovely, Delwyn Graham. Delwyn, that's so sweet. You have been following and you always comment so nicely. Hi, Jean. I have just finished the row along with Jean quilt top right now. I just have to quilt and bind it. It may take a while as I have a few more on the go with a priority on some babies soon to be born, but hopefully soon. Thanks for all your help. Appreciate all your videos. Now, this is my row along with Jean Quilt, which I do have a playlist on. You can see how myself and Delwyn and quite a few others had made this quilt uh, week by week, month by month. It did take me a while to do it because I had been ill, but Delwyn's is just delightful. You can see how Delwyn uh, chose her colors. Wonderful. She's going to quilt it. Now, I have to tell you, I just sent uh, my quilt top, my row along with Jean Quilt to David. I had made a video showing you how I pieced the backing for it using the same fat quarters and um, that was a few videos ago and I was going to quilt it myself um, as I have a few others on the go here and I thought now nah, I'm just going to send it out to them um, we're okay this month financially and I find it it's just so nice to be able to get it back um, all lovely and quilted but I would love to see Delwyn's all quilted she's done a beautiful job so if you want to make this quilt like Delwyn did um, followed along with my tutorials it is a beginner's quilt and she did a beautiful job thank you so much Delwyn my last one I have here is from Lori Lori Little 
Hello, Jean and your lovely family. Maxwell, the beard is great. You look so handsome. Well, Jean, I thought your back to basics quilt was so smart. Again, my recent video, uh, my recent videos that I have done on my back to basics for a truly beginner, beginner quilt. I had just finished another scrap quilt with my Christmas fabric and thought I'd give your quilt a try. In hindsight, I should have viewed the video again before I started. I quickly made up several nine patches. Again, that's where you went wrong. It was four patches. That's what she said. That's where I went wrong. I cut them corner to corner and mixed them up. Eh. I sewed them back together and uh-oh, this does not look like jeans. So funny. So I went back to the video. Four patches, Laurie. Oh well. I decided to just go with it. Attached is a picture, not quilted yet. I made it long because it's going to be used by my nephew who I think is quite tall. Dad is six foot five. I named it Broken Christmas since we have not been able to celebrate for two years now. We all had COVID for the last two years. The kids came all the way from Boise, Idaho. I'm in California and I tested positive two days later. They packed up quickly and headed home. It was heartbreaking. We worked so hard to make it special for my four-year-old nephew. Luckily, they did not get COVID. So I love the quilt anyway. I'll try again, as I have seemed to have an overabundance of Christmas fabrics. This will be my declutter project this year. Thank you, Jean, for all your videos. I always look forward to them. Love, Lori. Your broken Christmas quilt is lovely. It's nothing like I did. <laughs> my back to basics, because you didn't watch my video all the way through. Or you watched it and thought, oh, I can do that. It's real simple, right, Lori? Funny, funny. It was a four patch that you quickly discovered, but so pretty. So pretty, Lori. So pretty. I love the fabric. So nice. So that's the three I have to share. I have a few more coming up. You know who you are. Wait in line. Um, and also Ian has a few more sewing rooms. Again, for both things that I am incorporating into my channel now. As you know, I do a little bit of quilting. I do a little bit of sharing. And Ian does his tours. We do mothering autos to autism with Maxwell. Um, our, my channel has taken on a different bent as you know sharing family true love family things with you guys um but again projects sewing sewing rooms true love quilts for you at gmail.com send your photos and a small story and i'll be happy to share them i do hope you've enjoyed our other viewers from you our youtube family here um it's so nice to see what what's going on people's lives how they're getting on life is hard we know everybody has challenges um, whether financially, emotionally, spiritually, uh, physically, mentally. So please, folks, take care of yourself. Um, take care of your loved ones. And um, as always, love from the true loves. We really do mean it. Take care, folks. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.